YouTube, it's Rico, man, and I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. We got UK Drill, Most Brutal Ride. That was part two. And I do want to say, obviously, I'm not re reacting to these in any order. So you might see me, for example, reacting to something that got a part two and I ain't react to part one yet. But just because I reacted to part two don't mean I can go back and react to part one as well. So that's pretty much um, how I explain it for y'all. So these, like I said, is not in any order. And I'm going to react to them accordingly based off if people want me to react to them or if I feel like I should be reacting to them. Because this one, nobody requested me to react to this, but obviously sometimes I do pick my own reactions that I want to react to and stuff. And then I also as well react to the things people actually request me to react to. So that will pretty much explain things in simpler terms. But anyways, brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel but not yet subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button now. And also don't forget to smash that like button and comment on the video as well. That I hope the video and the algorithm to give you by more people and stuff like that. And also don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well. And hopefully they become supporters of the channel. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified when I drop new videos. And be sure you don't miss out on new videos that I drop. Check out the channel every day, no matter the time of the day, just because you never know when I'm upload and you don't want to miss out. And because post notifications sometimes do not work at all whatsoever for some reason. And also don't forget to add and follow me on social media. All my social media platforms are listed down below in the description box, as well as in my intro of the video. So you shouldn't have a hard time as, at all finding me on social media. I almost got a tongue twister right there. But anyways, man, y'all know what time it is, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the screen record. That started and we starting the vid now. This beef, this beef ain't getting squashed. Ask these ops, it's really on site. Yeah. KG got stabbed in his head, must hurt when he sleeps on a pillow at night. Mm. Good push, you ain't on I heard S on I bang my doors Coulda got bro locked up for a mad thing They got jibs in the wing for M Little they know it's that multiple splashings My pagans just chatting They don't do nothing in the lyrics they're rapping But when I pull up I'm trying to think In my older reactions For y'all that's brand new to the channel I used to react to When I started reacting to UK Drill It was, I'll probably say was last year so it's been about a year now since i've been reacting to uk drill but out of that whole past year i don't know if i heard about rams or not i can't remember for sure and obviously it's a whole lot of history in uk drill and drill in general so there's gonna be a lot of things that i possibly did react to or heard of but possibly forgot along the way just because obviously the history behind drill is a lot so you bound to forget some shit. so with that said I don't know for sure if I heard about this situation at all, but pretty much just saying um, he's known for being mocked at this on tracks by Sin Squad members. About three years, MPK went lurking in wood green and found him. So you pretty much already get the, uh, just based off of this alone before they even show any more that obviously something went wrong for him, for real, for real. But till now, no abs, I'm playing no games, no man, I'm not ramping. On the roads where patterned, gang them's known for the trapping, but the cloud comes from all of the blamings. Rambo got burned and splash, got left curl up on the floor, just. Damn. So he was shot in the face with a shotgun at point blank range. That mean that person was just in his whole personal space. Like, it wasn't no space between them at all if he if he really wanted it to be space like it was just too late for him at that point for real and as he fell to the ground he was stabbed by the mpk members damn i i ain't gonna lie that's overkill right there 13 to 14 times imagine if he survived something like that I'm pretty sure he would not even want to survive himself after a shit like that. You got shot in the face by a shotgun real close. Like, you wasn't even no type of distance away from the person that had the shotgun. Then, turn around and get stabbed 13 or 14 times while you falling. Damn. Yeah, they definitely wanted him out of there. They didn't want no type of chance for him to survive that. They wanted him out the way for real, for real. Buzzing. On your block, I'm all at attack and don't panic, don't run for the thing that I'm backing. I know how they talk and ask me and my dogs are rebels. 
Dang, so he did survive. What the fuck? Yeah, no, nah, I'm sorry, but somehow Ram survived this attack, probably due to the shotgun shells being shot. However, he was still left with scars from the knife wounds all over him. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have wanted to survive that. That I, if I survive, and I'm obviously still the same person I was before that incident because I don't know if he had any like mental damage after that shit. But I know if I survive, and I still got my 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 mental intact like it was before the whole incident happened, I definitely gotta come after you. Like you definitely was on some real personal personal shit when you did something like that. You shot me in the face with a shotgun. Dan stabbed me 13, 14 times while I was falling. Yeah. All of the people that involved, I would have to try to get up with them for real. That's crazy. But, like I said, something like that, I wouldn't even want to survive. That That's just too crazy right there. And then, imagine the recovery from that. Brutal. Y'all already know how bad it is to recover from knife attacks, bro. Like... I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. Like, that shit, I already know. It, it It definitely probably made him wish he didn't survive, for real. But with that said, though, man, that just goes to show you how crazy it is in the street life, for real. And in a country like the UK, man, you, you just got to realize, well, not country, I, I would say Europe, right? I might be wrong. I, my brain all over the place right now, so I'm, I'm probably saying some of this shit wrong. Anyways, y'all get what I'm saying, though, but... From a place like the UK, it's just crazy shit like this happen on the regular. So, it just, you, you just got to know pretty much, what, know for real what you want to do in life and who you want to be in life. Because if if you ain't about the street life, don't even try to attempt it because you could definitely get something done like this to you. And you're going to be left looking crazy if you survive and shit. You're going to be wishing that you was never probably a part of that lifestyle from the get-go. So, if you're not really a street person, don't even try to be in the streets. Just... Do something different. You can find your other ways to, in life to get better and have the lifestyle that you want to have, the clout you want to have, and stuff like that. You got you can find other ways without these type of situations happening to you and stuff to get that type of lifestyle that you want, which is clout or money, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, whatever you want to say. But yeah, man, that's crazy. I swear he ain't no fool, he could do my trip on a nanny mental Down the tape, toss trips, my ones with bro, you know how it goes Feel up my bros are locked in can, G time is in home I don't know how they talking us, me and my dogs are rebels I swear he ain't no fool, he could do my trip on a nanny mental I devilish thoughts myself, then I touch road and raise some hell If I want right, bro, there is G squeeze I do remember this situation, but I kind of forgot what actually happened because I know for sure I reacted to him plenty of times in his situation that happened and stuff. So other than that, it's been a while though since I last really seen anything about him and stuff like that. So I'm gonna definitely get my memory refreshed with this one. As well, or DIY with hammer and nail. Four by four, 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 four shells or stuff that goes with future souls. All I know is biting. Sell, sell these rocks and buy some bells. No one in combo, skirt to the fifties. No one in fifths, so I skirt back combo. Smoking gelato, smoking my man. This ain't Cali, I come from Congo. Yeah, see, that's another situation right there. Uh, shit, I would not want to survive after something like that. So that's it. If if I survive. Definitely gonna have to get up with the people involved because that's that's pretty much personal, personal right there too. Hit him with the car. Not only you hit him with the car, but jumped out and stabbed him up to 14 times. Brutal. Putin hit with a combo head and neck and some in a torso. Wasting high or where these liars be is stuff that couldn't no along And God knows I've been trying. Zombie K cause they're not dying. Money and violence, trapping, riding out this. Hey, your body ain't really able, ain't really built to withstand stuff like that. So when people survive stuff like this. Hey, I don't know for y'all. I ain't saying y'all gotta be religious or anything, but um, 
guy was definitely on that person's side that day. For real, for real. If you survive something like that, I'm sorry, but God was definitely on your side that day. Whether you believe in religion or not, he definitely, obviously, seen something different for you. So he let you survive, but it's up to you on how you take that and what you do after something like that. Because you can either, it's pretty much based off your mental. Like, if something like this happened to you, is your mental intact still if you survive and stuff like that and recovered? Or did your mental get pretty much destroyed after something like this happened and now you just really left as like somebody that's gonna be needed to be took care of obviously and stuff because you can't do certain shit for yourself no more stuff like that so if you got your mental intact and everything and you survive something like this definitely don't waste that second chance at life man that mean you need to go do something that's really beneficial not to only just you but others around you or whatever the case may be because you got obviously something to live for you got something that you need to do that needs to have some value to it for real and not just be somebody doing the same shit like you was before so hey man it's just based on how you come out of that situation and what you you think you should do at the end of the day so yeah man but me personally if i survive something like that like i said i'm gonna have to get up with you but at the same time i'm gonna also be looking to try to do other things that got value for real for real because if i survive something like that obviously i was meant to be here longer and do something different and that's beneficial and, and has value for real so with that said though man we're gonna go ahead and continue on Wear can chat on my team. We the reason all the ops are hiding. We the reason all the mums are frightened. Don't fly out when the grip gets tight. I'm an AG member. Ops get got trying to test my temper. Won't forget how I scratched up my man. If I get nicked, then I won't. I told him I would never fold shit, man. I meant that. I was out here every day thinking where the bread's at. Specs, Manor Park. I don't think I heard about him at all. So this is definitely going to be a new situation that I don't know of at all. Not even in the slightest. So with that said, we're going to continue. Can't take it L, I'm going to lose it if I have another setback. Give me a pack and no doubt. I'm going to stretch that. That's no big bits. Because I pebbled it. And that's the worst of the worst, man. If you in the street life is to get caught lacking literally by yourself because when you, when you get caught like by yourself the other side could possibly have up to two plus more people that's on your ass so it's like damn yeah man that's why you should if you in the street life i don't care what time of day it is or where, what kind of move you making you probably need to have somebody with you at all times, like somebody else, one of your homies with you, or at least have some type of protection. But you also got to be very, very aware of your surroundings too, man, especially when you're traveling on your own. You got to definitely be on all fours, man, watching everything like an animal, for real. Like, you just, that's just what it is, man. To be in that lifestyle, y'all obviously know what come with it. You got a lot of enemies and you possibly did something that really pissed them off so they probably really want to do something to you for real and stuff like that so with all of those included into the lifestyle that you live it's only right that you gotta be an animal you gotta watch everything you gotta be paying attention to everything you gotta you gotta pretty much look the part you gotta look like you somebody that can't just be walked up to for real like hey if you see me you might want to go the other way type shit that's the type of look you want to have because if if you somebody that's in the street life but you ain't got that type of look to you or whatever the case is people ain't gonna take you serious people ain't even possibly probably ain't even gonna do nothing to you for real even if you did do something to piss them off because some people they got that where they don't respect you enough to even want to do something to you they just gonna look at you as a goofy and shit they don't you pretty much you pretty much the last of their problems at the end of the day is what i'll say to make it more simpler for y'all you pretty much the last on the list to want to see like pretty much want them to want to do something to you you just ain't they got that much attention for real but 
if you somebody pretty much like him, then hey, you probably did something that really pissed somebody off, and you also pretty much definitely need to be dealt with, just whatever the case may be. So he probably definitely did something crazy to the point where they wanted to see something happen to him for real. Like they just couldn't let him survive another day if they came across the chance to pretty much catch him lacking or whatever the case. So they pretty much executed whatever they wanted to do. But we're gonna continue on. I could tell you about the work man put Cause it hurt to see my mother on benefits So it's right I wake up to these messages My brother told me maintain I wish I listened but Damn So it was a group of them He pretty much had nowhere to go He wasn't finna get out of that situation Even if he wanted to Stat on 50 plus Nah, I can see why. I think this is the last, uh, this is the last situation on this video. So I can see why this is the last of this video. Like, that's definitely too brutal, bro. Fifty times by a group of people, and it ain't no telling what, well, who, what all kind of knives they use. They could have used, they could have used big knives. They could have used small knives. They could have used jagged edged knives, edged knives. I mean, um. You already know pretty much all the different models of knives and stuff like that, blades, et cetera, et cetera. So it ain't no telling what all they use, man. So yeah, that's definitely brutal. Me after that, definitely wouldn't want to survive. 50 times, definitely overkill. Wouldn't even want to survive, I don't care. Like, nah, just let me go on here, go to the next life. It's just that simple, bro. Cause yeah, like I said, if I survive, Gotta, I gotta see everybody personally. Like, nah, some gotta. I, I'm gonna have to get some retaliation. I'm sorry, but that's just what it is. But either way, though, man, y'all know at the end of the day, though, I don't encourage y'all to do violence or anything of that nature. So definitely, don't quote me as somebody that that is telling y'all to go commit these type of crimes if they happen to you and stuff like that. Me personally, I would prefer you to not retaliate. But at the end of the day, it's your life and. Obviously, I told y'all what I would do if I was in that situation. So it's not for me to tell y'all what y'all should do in that situation because some of y'all might want to do something else differently than what I said. So that's it. It ain't really... Yeah, it is a right and wrong way to pretty much respond to a situation like this if it happens to you. So me, like I said, I ain't encouraging y'all to do the wrong and bad things and want to do violence. So... I would just say I would prefer y'all to do the handle these situations the right way, which is probably like not retaliate, obviously, and stuff, shit like that. But like I said, man, y'all your own people, so I can't tell y'all what to do in a situation like that, man. Because at the end of the day, something like that happened. What can I really say? Shit. Like I said, if I was in that situation and I survived. That's just what it is. It's going to be retaliation. But if I don't survive, then obviously, and any shit else I could do is, it is what it is. Like I said, I would prefer to not even survive something like that, to be honest. Like I said earlier in the other situations as well, up to this one, I would just prefer not to survive at all. Because I already know if I survive, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to have to be some retaliation behind it. But that said, though, I don't encourage y'all to I retaliate. Just for real, for real. A year ago, I had the phone lines ringing. Then he told me, S, hold it up. I felt gifted. He dropped man the lines because he saw man live this. My partner left the country because he's trying to dodge prison for conspiracy cases. They watch from surveillance, so I'm getting onto the bits of his play. I don't know who young Shaq is. I'm going to have to go look him up. I'm surprised, 15 years? Well, too, it depends on the county. Well, for y'all, I don't know what y'all call it. I think it's just postcodes or whatever y'all use out there. Cause out here in the States, we got postal codes, obviously. We got area codes and shit, et cetera, et cetera. But we also got stuff called counties. We got places called counties. So say I go 
in Illinois and I commit a crime in somewhere like Chicago or something, then I'm going to Will County. Like if I commit a murder like that, a murder in general, I would be going to Will County. But then you got people that would go to other places for smaller crimes, like regular jails and cities and shit like that. Now that's different. But other than that, though, I don't like I said. I think y'all y'all just call it postal codes or whatever the case may be and stuff out there. So, like I said, though, for a situation like this, it, I would be going to Will County, I believe, and I would definitely be doing more than fifteen years because once they see what happened that caused me to be put in prison anyways they'll probably definitely be trying to lock me up for 20 plus years and possibly no no chance at parole and shit like that just because of how violent the crime was so i ain't gonna lie it looked like he got a slap on the wrist for show man because i feel like they definitely could have gave him more years than what he was given but like I said, it just depends on where you get arrested at, where you committed the crime at, and stuff like that. And pretty much the people that's handling that case against you. So, it just depends at the end of the day and stuff like that. It's just based on your location and area that you committed the crime in and shit like that. Just to make it more simpler for y'all. But with that said, though, man, that's pretty much the end of the vid. I don't think it's really too much after. Let me see. Yeah, it ain't nothing else after that. So with that said, that's pretty much is the end of the vid, man. So if you enjoyed the video reaction and all that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well. And hopefully they become supporters of the channel. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. And be sure you don't miss out on new videos. Check out the channel every day, no matter the time of the day. Just because you never know when I'm going to upload and you don't want to miss out. And because sometimes post notifications do not work whatsoever. And also don't forget to add and follow me on social media. All my social media platforms are listed down below in the description box as well as in the intro of the video. So you shouldn't have a hard time at all finding me on social media. With that said, though, man, that's the end of the vid. I'm going to catch you guys later on more, so stay tuned. Peace.